Hi everyone, interesting stuff going on in Italy, Naples, Campi Fligri, Super Volcano, guys. The new bulletin is out for the last week up until December 23rd. And guys, things are not de-escalating, they're not. We have temperature and gas emissions going up, but I want to show you something else first before we talk about the bulletin, because I want to look at the earthquakes, guys. Have a look at that list here. And you know, I'm showing you this list very often and we see the earthquake swarms of Campi Fligri and then usually we see quite a few Campi Fligri and then maybe one Vesuvius in the lower ranges. But in the last few weeks, and I have made a video about Vesuvius, I noticed something. So look at this here, Vesuvius on the 25th, 1.3, 2.0. We're seeing the higher ranges of Vesuvius and we're seeing now at the moment at a regular basis, these two point something earthquakes at Vesuvius. And then, yeah, Campi Fligri 1.2 on Christmas, 2.0, and then Vesuvius. And then again, let's go down, yeah, we have um, Campi Fligri, a few Vesuvius, Vesuvius 1.8 going up again. And then Campi Fligri, a few, always consistent for the last few months, right? And then again, we have Vesuvius, Campi Fligri, Vesuvius 1, 2.1 again. And those are directly where the crater is, underneath the crater of Vesuvius. One Campi Fligri and then 2.0 Vesuvius. Campi Fligri 2.0 Vesuvius, Vesuvius. And then Campi Fligri, and if I go to the next page, um, it's the same like this Vesuvius here on um, December 2nd. And okay, we had a larger swarm here at Campi Fligri. That was really an intense swarm again, but um, we had, gosh, there have been so many earthquakes. We have to go uh, back. There was here at 3.0 Campi Fligri. I'm trying to find the Vesuvius one that we just had recently. That was in December with two, actually 2.2. But what is going on with Vesuvius? Because first they said, well, that could be subsidence actually and not land rising that is causing these earthquakes, which would still be a subsidence after the last eruption. But that has stopped in many areas. And what is a little bit unusual that the earthquakes are going in such a high magnitude range. And I have made videos about the connection between Vesuvius and Campi Fligri because actually there is a connection. And I'll put the video in the end screen for you because it's really worth watching what's going on underneath with both volcanoes. Both are very, very frightening volcanoes. So Vesuvius today, it's maybe just a side note, but I want you to have a look at this and I want you to notice this. And then if you haven't seen them, um, one of the two, but basically the video where I say that they're interacting, you should really watch that to get a better understanding. Is there something moving from one volcano to the other? But let's talk about the bulletin of Campi Fligri. Guys, the land is still rising with 2.5 centimeters per month, over 22 centimeters this year already that the ground has risen. And we don't only see it in the port of Pozzuoli where the fishing boats are basically lying on dry ground. The grass is growing, bushes is growing in the harbor. But now we've just got the news that also the Marcellum of Pozzuoli re-emerged from the waters and they say this is a symbol of the Brady Sizem. I don't really like the word Brady Sizem because this is the volcanic crisis. That is what it is. It's Brady Sizem is just another word for this. So the land rise that is happening in and around Pozzuoli um, has now completely exposed the Makellum of Pozzuoli, um, which at the beginning of the year 2000 was still invaded by water. So we see the images here, we see the comparison between both, right? So it now has completely reemerged from the waters and probably because the land is rising, so the water is disappearing. The land has been rising since 2005 for over 20 years now. So they're using the Machellum as an excellent gog of this volcanic crisis that is going on here. So we do not have land subsidence, that is for sure. 
And over the centuries, this thing has repeatedly emerged, then it did sink again, it emerged. And interestingly enough, the ancient Romans also knew about that problem. That area of Pozzuoli, very fertile grounds, of course, volcanic soil was ideal for urban settlements. But then they basically started to move from that area. For example, Portus Julius, the port there, was moved by Julius Caesar himself as the waters were already to, beginning to submerge it in this case. And over time, the subsidence that they were noticing there um, was creating basically a bay of the Lake Avernus and Lake Lucrino. And the Macellum was almost entirely submerged with water following the years of the fall of the Roman Empire. is a kind of symbolic, the empire is falling and the symbols are sinking, are disappearing. We talked about columns that were underwater that are being proof of that. I talked about that in previous videos where there was a new study about that. Guys, go to my Campi Flegri playlist. There is so much interesting stuff. And if you could do me a favor, give this video an early like and a hype doesn't cost you anything. Click that hype button, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. And let's get back to Campi Flegri. We have data from studies from the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, and they report that from 300 BC to 620 AD, the subsidence was there slow but unstoppable, and the entire area ended up seven meters below sea level. That's basically seven large steps that you take. But then in less than a century, there was a rapid resurgence to four meters above sea level sea level. And then it took another six centuries for the level to descend again below 10 meters. That was a historic low. And then the slow ascent continued until 1538 when there was an eruption, the year of the Monte Nuovo eruption. Then, of course, after that, the subsidence resumed until the new they call it Brady Seismic Crisis, I call it Volcanic Crisis, began in 2005. And it's still ongoing today, and it's getting stronger. So what's going on with the latest bulletin? We have this ongoing ground uplift of 2.5 centimeters per month, and then also in the week of December 15th to 21st, we had 76 earthquakes, strongest earthquakes up to 2.0, you've seen the list. And we had two smaller earthquake swarms on December 15th and then on December 19th. We have the earthquakes still going. We have the steadily progressing ground uplift. And already since early October, we have 2.5 centimeters. So that's already for three months, it's steady. And this year alone, almost 22 centimeters in ground uplift. That is a lot, guys, and that could be an indication that there's changes in the underground magma system of Campi Flegri. But what about the gas emissions? I mentioned it at the beginning. What the bulletin shows us that we have in the Pischiarelli area, that's an area where we have a lot of fumarolis and gas emissions. The CO2 flux remained stable last week without any sudden spikes, but stable doesn't mean like de-escalating, right? Stable is it's still going up, it's still high. And the temperature of the fumarolis was there around 94 degrees Celsius, uh, but Another fumaroli that we had to look at in the past is the BG fumaroli. That's in the Solfatara crater, the sand dune-like area, has continued its trend to heat up. We've seen this over the last few months that it has been heating up. Now the average temperature is 173 degrees Celsius. And what does that mean if a fumarole keeps heating up? Well, there's a heat source that keeps getting stronger. So that means a sign of increasing heat and activity in the hydrothermal system below. 
So what is the INGV telling us? They say there are no signs for an imminent eruption, but they will monitor everything and they will communicate immediately should there be any changes. And they say then they try to prepare the population as effectively as possible. And we know that is very controversial because we could see a phreatic explosion at any time without a warning. And they should at least start to permanently, at least one by one, move away people from the red zone. And that is Pozzoli as sad as it is, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave it a like, leave it a hype. I will keep you updated about what's going on in Italy. And so many other things are going on, guys. Just check out the end screen. And really, if you want to learn about Vesuvius and Campi Fligrei, I urge you to watch this. It's very, very interesting. So maybe you want to click here and then I see you in a second. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.